Dead meme. All right, we're here to cover the furnace. You've likely encountered an alloy that you don't know how to produce because you can't make it in the arc furnace. This does look a bit intimidating, but don't worry, it's pretty simple. You don't need to build the big setup that you see in the tutorial. I'll show you an easier method. It requires you to pay attention to it, but it's simple. Don't worry, we'll move on. All right, you'll build it in the auto lathe. It's a furnace kit. Uh, by now, I imagine you understand how the kit system works. You can scroll through with the mouse wheel and hit C to rotate. So here we are. So uh, in order to operate this, you're going to need some sort of release valve. So this is what this is. Uh, you need pressure during the process. So we're going to close this up to make sure that it remains. And I'm just going to set up my volatiles. I'll be right back. All right. So we're outside in the shade and we're doing this for a good reason. Anytime you are in the sunlight holding any sort of ice, such as a volatile or a nitrous ice or an oxide, if you hold it in your hand, it will melt when you're in direct sunlight. So I'll just split one off here and I'll show it to you. So it's in my hand. I'm going to walk out into the sunlight. And it won't take long and it'll disappear on me. See, there you go. So uh, if it's in your belt, you're fine. But in order to process the, this uh, material, we're going to need to throw in two volatiles, drag them out of your belt like that, turn on the system, one oxide, and we'll let that thing melt up. And now we'll throw in the metals that we wish to smelt together. I'm going to make solder. And we'll just watch this pressure build up. We'll turn on my flashlight. So eventually this will change color, this little block here, and you'll know that you've completed it. So I'm just going to skip ahead to that to try and keep this small and quick. All right, there we go. We've just kind of watched the pressure drop, see as it hit the right temperature. And if I look up, I can make some solder now. So I just eject and she's all done. Now, uh, typically, a good move is to maybe uh, queue up a whole bunch of alloys, like uh, some um, like uh, steel, electrum, things like that. And then as the furnace cools, you can make this guy because this is made at a colder temperature. So it, uh, this is kind of like the, the ghetto way until you uh, get some higher tier metals, right? Because uh, so far I've made steel this way, electrum this way, and solder this way. But this is more, this requires human input. The tutorial shows a method uh, that is very, very far out of reach from the beginning of the game. So hopefully this is enough to show you how to get some of these materials because you're not going to be able to afford that base that they build in the tutorial. And just remember, this is your temperature gauge. This is your bread and butter. This is how you're going to know whether or not you're hitting the right temperatures and pressures. You're going to need this little valve here. Uh, when you're done, I vent into space. You don't necessarily need to because it breaks down the, the pressure in that, but I just don't trust it. I'm uh, concerned it's going to explode because that happens in this game a lot. So now the temperature and pressure is real low, so it's fine. So now I want to show you how I knew what temperature and pressures to use. So in the F1 menu, you should get something that looks like this. And if I want to make solder i want to make the solder ingot and that's how i got to the screen so this tells me the temperature in kelvins that's what the gauge reads and this is the pressure that's required so basically like one megapascal to 100 megapascal so that's easy easy to hit it's the temperature that you're going to be waiting on you're going to wait for this you got to wait for this thing to cool down to like 500 kelvin and just so you could see here as you could see on the on this thing it's it's measured in kelvin kelvins are a uh, unit of measurement that doesn't have a zero, I'm pretty sure. So it starts at absolute zero and builds its way up. That's why these numbers are so strange. But hopefully that's helpful. Uh, it's a quick bite-sized guide to making a furnace and making some alloys. Because you're going to need them before you, can, before you realize. And thanks for showing up. And a like and a sub would be great. Uh, if you want to throw some information down in the comments. Anything I missed or I screwed up. Let's hear about it so we can get a better video made.